Got your five quid there, babe. Yep. There she is. There's a little window here. Hello. <laughs> That's a big contribution. I know. I wasn't expecting this, actually. Oh, okay. I'm following my husband thinking knows where he's going. Oh, no. <laughs> that should have been my first clue. Oh, there we go. Oh, 81. <laughs> we just okay. repeated the reverse of that one. Okay, here we go. So I have this nice little blanket here. Here's my screen with um, a lot of different things I can do here, apparently. Music blasting in my ear. <laughs> More legroom than the flight we had before. And then these little like bins or like cubbies here. So you can put things in there. I mean, they're not uh, terribly clean, but uh, but that's pretty cool, actually. This jacket can be topped up by using this little mouthpiece. There's also a whistle and a light for attracting attention. Don't stop now, come on, come on! And please do not inflate your life jacket until you've left the aircraft! Do watch. If you have any questions, or you can't find your safety card, or if you've mislaid your magical fly star envelope, please ask one of your cabin crew members and have a good flight. One nice thing about this flight was that there were a lot of entertainment options. I got to watch a few good movies and a couple good TV shows, including one episode of Drag Race All-Star Season 1, which was of course heartbreaking in a lot of ways. We also got some food. They gave us a lot of little options of dressing, butter, cheese, that kind of thing that was really nice. And I got some crackers and a little side salad and this little uh, tangy lemon pudding and then a chicken dish with vegetables and curry. And here's what the pudding looks like from the side. It's actually really good. The food is pretty good. Frankly, Mr. Shankly, this position I've held, it pays my way, but it corrodes my soul. I want to leave, you will not miss me. I want to go down in musical history. Where are we? Oh, we pain in the eyes. I do not mean to be so rude. But still I must speak frankly, Mr. Shankly. Give us your money. TV. Oh, that? Yeah, that like constant hum. I don't know. That's really annoying. <laughs> let's, see, let's see, babe. So here's the room entrance, and then this little coffee station, and kind of an almost an armoire as well. And then we have the bed here. Hey, Steve. Hey. <laughs> Wild Steve appears. And, um,. It's like desk area that I can also use as a vanity. Sitting area. This is nice. Oh, wow. See these little switches on the outside, I'm not sure what they do. Oh. oh. <laughs> so you pick the music in. Okay, and lights. Let's see. Oh, maybe you need your key, babe. Oh my god, it's like It's that. like this again. Yeah, you're right. 
We are definitely back in Europe. Well, I hope that noise isn't like a constant din. There you go. Nice, okay, now we can turn on stuff. Right. There we go. This is nice, look at this. And then we have this, the little robes here, how cute. Wow, I love this shower, this is beautiful. I love their um, toilets that hang off the side of the walls like this. I love how I have a, a soundtrack to my viewing of the bathroom. <laughs> so pretty. I like all the little details, like well, how... What is this? Interesting. So this is how they displayed the um, tissue paper. It's like um, a little flower or something. This is very nice and very... Impressed with this bathroom. And we figured out how to make that little buzzing noise go away. I guess it's to make sure you don't forget to put your key in the <laughs> I was like, I need to sleep, man. I can't have a, I can't have like a beard trimmer running in the background all day. Ooh, I like these little like flaps that you use to open this up. Oh here's a an ironing board for your shirt, Steven. And a nice iron. And a safe for Furbies. <laughs> and, um, oh, little little slippers, too. Well, isn't this nice? And it's really clean. I love it. Ooh, and it lights up in here. Oh, look, Steven. Like these little, like, they have little padded hangers as well. Oh, there's like a little some sort of sport court down there. I don't really know what that sport is, but. Let me see. Oh. And here we have our view. Steven was saying he's not sure what sport gets played in this um, court here. We will do our research and get back to you on that. I'm sorry to those who are like screaming, it's for this sport, you idiots, but um, we're not really sure. It's like a nice mixture of like traditional buildings and um, modern. I don't know, I kind of like them together like this. Look how not crowded this city is. Also, here's our car. Okay. I know, I just feel like it's like nowhere near as crowded as any city in the US. <laughs> here we are, and there's um, there's Mama Mia here. Are you sure we can't go see Mama Mia instead? <laughs> and here's the Tina, Tina Turner play. I wish we had a bigger theater scene in San Francisco. Yeah. I always get really jealous when I go to Broadway or like seeing something area like this too. God, <laughs> I was gonna get run over just now. So I was starting to feel a headache come on and I noticed I left my Excedrin with my other stuff in the hotel so I had to buy this. It looked kind of like the most brand name thing I could find um, and it an extra so hopefully this works. I'll let you know. <laughs> so we're walking around West End. This is kind of still nearby where the theaters are. Actually it's, it's very much where <laughs> the theaters are but there's a lot of shopping in between. I had no idea that there was so much to do in this neighborhood. So here's the Cambridge Theatre, we're going to go see Matilda. Oh, wait, no, wait, are we far for the back, sorry. I love how intimate this theatre is too, you know. Yeah. We don't have a lot of um, professional, like, you know, theaters where, like, they're this small. You know, they're yeah. huge when they're, like, of this stature, so. Interesting. I guess we're seeing things. Yeah. Even the crowded parts are empty. It's a Saturday. Where is everybody? 
I don't know. I'm loving my London equivalent of a Dasani and some Excedrin. <laughs> Babe, like... <laughs> anyway. Got our belly going, going once again, like last time. <laughs> so this cost me two pounds. I, I look a little under two pounds, and so that would be about two dollars fifty cents for eight tablets. And I was thinking, what do I take all eight? <laughs> it's, it's two tablets per servings. This is four servings of headache medication for what's essentially two dollars and fifty cents American. And in San Francisco, one package of one serving, so two, etc., would be like a dollar ninety-five, or maybe even two ninety-nine, or something like that. That is pretty crazy. Also, it's nice because they have um, they have braille on the back, so that's really that's really nice. Something else I noticed while we we're sitting here, for about one pound, you can use these um, binoculars. That's cute. That's how far back we are, Stephen. <laughs> Here's our first meal of the trip. Cheers to spaghetti because our the place is called What Spaghetti House, right? Yes, it is. So spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti oh. carbonara. So it looks like tomorrow must be trash day or tonight or something like that because, man, we're just seeing piles of trash everywhere. 